In this video, let's look into the SSI injection. So as we could see here, we have the option wherein we could look up our IP address. So let's give in our first name as well as the last name. And when we click on the lookup, it would show us our first name and the last name as well as our IP address. So we could note down the file that which is the file name which is the ssii.shtml. So this is the backend PHP code that is actually doing the work. So this basically has the parameters taken in the form of post method and which is the first name and the last name and uh, this gives out the IP address here. So basically the creation of the file code is being given here which basically writes a new line to the file. So going back to the application So let's try to inject uh, XSS script and see if this works. So we're going to name it as test1. So we were able to get the XSS successfully working. So let's give out various different other uh, payloads that would work with this. So let's uh, give in the document name let's retrieve the document name basically so let we are gonna name this as the test3 once we click on the lookup we would get the the document name of this particular document so let's try out various different other uh, fields like document underscore URI let's give this test4 so this would give out the uh, the path of the particular document so going further let's try out something else so we're going to be trying out the local date so this is going to be our again a new test that we'll be performing so this would again display successfully so going ahead with this, we could try out giving the uh, executing the command onto the victim's machine on the other side. So let's execute the ls command and see if this works. So not just the XSS, we were successfully even able to execute the uh, command successfully and uh, let's give out some other some more commands here so pwd so which is the present working directory so once we click on this so we would get the present working directory so that gets shown up there so why not let's just create a reverse shell so for that let's open up our terminal and using the netcat let's listen on to port number 1234 and uh, here let's give in uh, the value so, uh, so that we could connect back to uh, the attacker's machine so here we are creating a reverse shell so once we click on the lookup so once this is done so the connection gets established successfully and henceforth whatever commands we give in it would successfully get executed on the victim's machine